how to change font in Roblox. So what you want to do is head over to your web browser. It doesn't really matter which one you use and type in the font. Now, this is the website that you're going to be downloading the font that you want to use on your Roblox account. You don't have to download the fonts from here, but this is my recommendation because there's a lot of fonts on here. This font right here, Blue Smile, let's download this. And as you can see, it downloaded as a zip. And then create a new file. You don't have to create a new file, but just for organizing it, you can select all of this and then drag it into the folder that you just created. Now, what you're going to need to do next is download Roblox as an app. So this is pretty simple. Go to the new web page, type in Roblox. After you've done this, click this open and then click download and install Roblox. After you've done that, go to the window search bar and type in Roblox player. Right click it and open file location. After you've done that, right click the Roblox player again and open file location. Go to content and fonts. Now right here, create a new folder. You don't have to create a new folder, but just in case if you want the fonts back. Now I'm going to show you why we're doing this in a second. Um, create, name it old fonts. You can name it whatever, but just for organization's sake. Now what you're going to need to do is put Arial and Arial BD into old fonts. Go down here and find Source Sense Pro Bald. Get that in there. Light, get that in there. And regular, get that in there as well. Now what you're going to need to do is copy the true type font file, the blue smile that you just, the font that you just downloaded. Right click here and paste. Copy one, two, three, four. We have four, five. We have five of them. And how much do we have here? Five of them. Great. So what you're going to need to do is rename these fonts that you duplicated as these fonts right here. Bold. Now it is very important for you to exactly type in the names. And there you go. You're done. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, see you in the next video.